You know, there's been a lot of talk this week about the use of steroids on COVID-19 patients and the success doctors have witnessed. Well, tonight we have a feel good story about one of the first patients at a local hospital to receive the controversial treatment combined with an older method that likely saved his life and others that followed. Dr. Rafael Barreto and his team have been working day and night at Ascension St. John Macomb Oakland Hospital to save patients from COVID-19. Patients like 61-year-old Sylvester McCroy, who spoke to me by phone. When you first got to the hospital, you could barely put a cup to your mouth. Yeah, that's true. Sylvester is fortunate. His roommate died of COVID-19 right before he landed in the hospital in April. And Sylvester, who survived cancer, was not sure luck would be on his side a second go round. Dr. Barreto using two techniques, one old and one controversial, to make miracles happen. We were struggling with getting his oxygen levels um, up uh, while on the ventilator, so uh, we started doing the proning protocol. Proning is when patients are flipped over on their stomachs so the fluid in their lungs can drain downward, allowing their lungs to get oxygenation. Therapist Kristen Blankenship became part of the proning team. Sylvester was one of those patients that we would put on their stomach on a ventilator for 16 hours. But there was so much inflammation in his lungs, Dr. Barreto and his team wanted to try something controversial by giving him a small dose of steroids. And we saw an immediate difference um, within 48 hours. Doctors saw improvement in patients both on and off ventilators. Doctors at Henry Ford Hospital arrived at the same conclusion. They've actually been able to conduct uh, a study in a trial and they've actually submitted it for publication. When Sylvester's lungs were better, he was removed from the ventilator, but then came another challenge, rehab. Sylvester, like so many of our patients, where were we going to send them or how were we going to give them the comprehensive rehab that they needed? The hospital quickly got certified to have a COVID rehab unit. We were able to to uh, open up uh, a rehab unit specifically for COVID patients because we didn't want to mix them up with our regular rehab patients. Not more than a week later, Sylvester went from not being able to hold up a cup to being discharged. <laughs> to be able to see him do a victory clap out and have like the people that were part of the beginning, they were lining the halls and he, he wheeled them down in the wheelchair and they were not expecting him to get up and walk out from the stores. We've treated hundreds of patients here and to see a success story of somebody on a ventilator leaving um, the hospital under his own power, it was a way for us to celebrate. Well, I appreciate them because they gave me a second chance on life. I was told there wasn't a dry eye in the hospital as Sylvester walked out. Now, Ascension St. John Macomb Oakland Hospital released its last COVID-19 patient from rehab recently. But with talk of a possible resurgence, they are well equipped to handle it. Meantime, Sylvester is now recovering at home, getting around on a cane, but certainly happy to be alive. Dave.